In today's episode, my buddy John and I will be taking a look at the performance of electric and gas chainsaws while cutting firewood out in the forest. We'll take a look at battery life, the number of cuts you can get, and the speed of the cuts on various saws. If you enjoy the video and find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get to it. We started by doing a little maintenance on each saw being used by cleaning them up and sharpening the blades. Next up was safety gear. We snapped on the protective chaps, grabbed the rest of our stuff, and then headed up the mountain. The saws we'll use today are a gas Husqvarna 445, a larger steel saw, and a DeWalt 60 volt battery powered chainsaw. We started by delimbing a fallen lodgepole pine to see how well the saw would do. I realize most homeowners probably don't plan on going into the forest and cutting a bunch of firewood with an electric saw, but I did want to put it to the test and see what it could tackle. Now this log had a decent amount of limbs, but the DeWalt chainsaw seemed to go through them rather quickly and without problems. With this particular saw, there is a safety button to push down, which took a little getting used to since the steel and Husqvarna gas saws do not have a safety button. I was able to get rid of all the limbs on a 53 foot span in a matter of minutes. The saw seemed to maneuver pretty well and the 60 volt 9 amp hour battery easily had the full 3 bars left after the process. Wow, that was pretty quick. I thought we'd test how many cuts we could get out of one battery. Now the top of the tree started at about a 5 to 6 inch diameter and got thicker the further down the tree we went, maxing out at about 10 and a half inches. So how does that thing do? I mean, does it feel like it bogs down at all or? No, it cuts right through it pretty fast. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it so far. And we're still showing three full batteries, so. Well. We'll continue on here. For links to the tools and gear used in today's video, check out the link in the description. And if you want to talk chainsaws, please comment below and let me know what you think of gas versus electric saws. Two batteries. Down to two batteries. Still on two. Got about eight and a half inches there. The little orange stick that's hooked onto the saw with a magnet is a pretty cool tool that helps measure the cuts so I can get consistent firewood length. The plastic piece can be adjusted for lengths 18 inches and under. Down to one. A few things I like about the electric saw are that you don't have to mess with gas. It's quiet and it always starts with just the push of a button since it's battery powered. You do need to use bar oil to keep the bar cool, but other than that and sharpening the blade, this saw is very low in maintenance. And when adjustments need to be made to the chain's tightness, um, it can be done without any tools, which is convenient. So start watching for binding. That's it. That's, that was it, huh? That's it. <laughs> that was a lot of wood. A lot more than I thought we'd get. That's really nice firewood too. It is. We counted 35 logs, so roughly 53 feet worth of timber, and there were some pretty good sized logs with about nine and a half to 10 and a half inch diameter for the last few logs toward the base of the tree. Now that little saw performed pretty well. It didn't really bog down at all. And for one battery of use, it's a nice little load of logs that we got. If you had another battery or throw this one on the charger for a while, you could do about a whole nother 53 feet or so of cutting. All in all, I was impressed with the electric saw's performance. I'm gonna go down and major out about 45 feet down on these two logs that we got down here that we just cleared out. And uh, just try and do a fair comparison for a log length like that. But um, you know, obviously it's a little bit bigger saw, a uh, little bigger teeth on it. So I, I do have a little bit of an advantage, but um, you know, I think we'll still see some nice performance between the two. We had a couple other saws we planned on testing, 
but this gas saw was the closest in size to the electric, so it's the main saw we ended up using for the comparison. Delimbing the tree seemed a little more fluid with the gas saw since the engine's always running and the trigger's a little easier to work with. Now we didn't count the number of cuts since the gas saw could easily go through quite a few trees before needing a tank full of gas. Uh, the gas saw was obviously quite loud, but its ability to cut for such a long duration and its additional power are definitely nice to have. The gas saw did cut a little faster in comparison to the electric saw, and we noticed this most while cutting through the largest diameter or thickest parts of the log. That said, the electric was able to get through those logs as well. It was just a little bit slower, and it's not a saw that you'd want to use to go cut firewood all day with. Pick that up and give her a whirl. If you're harvesting downfall in the back country or away from a road, it's handy to rig up a pulley system to help drag the logs closer to the vehicle to minimize the amount of lifting and hauling you need to do with your own two feet. We basically put a strap around a tree, added a pulley to it, and then used rope to latch onto a log and to a vehicle. Two feet from each other. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. I mean, look how nice that looks. Here's a shot of that pulley system from up a ways. You can see it pulls the log up easily, and it's going to be in a lot better spot for us to cut up into smaller lengths before the snowstorm rolls in this evening. Next, we did a time test through a 10-inch diameter log with each saw. The electric ran through like a champ in 12.6 seconds. The small gas saw was a bit faster, even after going through a knot in the wood, coming in at 11.1 .1 seconds. Just for fun, we broke out John's logging saw, which is the steel 440 Magnum with a 25 inch bar. This went through the log in 5.1 seconds. I threw a couple smaller diameter logs that were about four to six inches in the Jaw Boss saw buck. Now this is a really cool tool that holds smaller logs and it keeps them off the ground so you don't have to worry about hitting the dirt or rocks with your chain. The log locks into the teeth so it holds it nice and tight. The electric saw went through the smaller log super quick and you could definitely go through a lot more cuts at this diameter than of the larger cuts I was making on the tree. The gas saw went through the small diameter log at about the same pace as the electric saw. Of course I had to break out the big saw again and this ripped through the log in no time flat. Then we cut up the 12 foot long logs that we had drug up with the pulley system. We cut them into 18 inch sections to get them ready to split into firewood. To sum it up, I feel electric chainsaws have come a long ways in the last few years and definitely have their place in the market. I love having my DeWalt saw and I feel it's the perfect saw for any homeowner looking for a low maintenance chainsaw that's quiet, easy to use, and powerful for most tough jobs. Now, gas chainsaws, on the other hand, are great if you're looking to be out cutting firewood all day, if you need to make faster cuts, or are wanting to cut down larger sized trees. I hope this episode has helped show you some of the differences between gas and electric saws. If you did find the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching, and cheers from Montana.